Delhi has been gripped by space fever. And this is what everyone here is getting excited about. Two, one. We have ignition. On Monday, India will launch Chandrayaan-2, its second lunar mission. Its aim is to land a rover on an as yet unexplored part of the moon. This is a few steps forward in terms of having an orbiter with advanced payloads and then a lander which would soft land on the moon, plus a rover which would move around and do detailed in-situ studies. In 2008, India's first moon mission, Chandrayaan-1, orbited the moon and helped confirm the presence of water. But it didn't make a landing. Under Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the country has stepped up its ambitions in space. 2013 saw India's first interplanetary venture, the launch of an orbiter to Mars. With this latest mission, India wants to cement its status as a leader in space technology by becoming only the fourth country in the world to perform a soft landing and put a rover on the moon. And it has even more ambitious plans. The first manned mission into space is scheduled for 2022, and soon after that, the creation of India's own space station. And someone with intimate knowledge of India's plans for space and the upcoming Chandrayaan-2 mission is science journalist and author Pallav Bagla. Pallav, good to have you on the program. Now, India plans to la land the rover on the south pole of the moon. How significant is that? Well, landing on the south pole of the moon is very significant. Uh, no other country has till date gone as close to the south pole as India is going. Uh, if you recall, most of the landings for the Apollo missions have happened in the equatorial region. Uh, the only country which has gone anywhere close to the South Pole is China, which is on the far side of the moon. But it is still closer to the equatorial region. The Indian spacecraft is going closest to the South Pole. But why are they going there? Uh, uh, that's a very valid question. They're going there because that is an unexplored area and India hopes to do some good science and hopefully some good discovery, which could include finding uh, uh, copious amounts of water on the south pole of the moon, which is what scientists right. have predicted. So India has chosen fully the landing site uh, very close to the south pole of the moon, but still not on the south pole. Now, India has also announced plans to send astronauts into space and also build a space station. What exactly are the aims of India's space program? What does it hope to achieve? Well, very straightforward. India's space program is meant for benefiting the 1.3 billion Indian population. Uh, the plan, the Indian Space Agency focuses very heavily on meeting the needs of the common people, from which a small part of the budget is taken out and used for blue sky work. And right. among which, uh, the human space flight program is one part, going to the moon or Mars, or finally trying to set up a space station, which could happen as 2030. Uh, these are all parts of India preparing technologies right. so that India should not be left behind in times to come. Right. Pallav Bagla, we'll have to leave it there for the time being. But thanks very much for explaining that to us.